In this video, we're gonna talk about what I think makes the perfect holster for the Sport 3 gun. Hey everyone, Sean Burroughs with Team Federal and Atlas Gunworks. After releasing the video detailing how I set up my three gun belt system, this Farland ELS belt system, I have received even more questions about what holster I use for my beautiful custom Atlas Hyperion competition pistol. This pistol was designed for use in the sport of three guns specifically. It's a high performance gun and finding a holster that works for it is only half the equation. The other half is making sure the holster is appropriate for three gun, which begs the question, what makes a good three gun holster? Well, a lot of people start just like I did with a Kydex passive tension, OWB of course, holster. It works great until it doesn't. What I mean by passive tension is one of those holsters that rely on tension screws at the end of the holster to create enough friction between the gun and the holster to where it won't easily come out. You want it tight enough to hold the gun in place, but loose enough to be able to get it out easily when it's time to draw and use the gun. If I am at a stage that requires me to start with my pistol, I want to loosen up the tension on that holster so I can get my pistol out easily, fast, and on target to get that first shot off right after the buzzer sounds. However, if I am shooting a course of fire that requires me to start with one of my long guns, rifle, shotgun, and then transition to a pistol, I want to make sure the pistol is held nice and snug in there until it's time for me to abandon my long gun, yet I want it loose enough to be able to get it out, up and on target efficiently. Makes sense, right? Well, in the sport of three gun, we got to do all sorts of things. Go prone, jump back up, jump over walls sometimes, run around bays, natural terrain, all sorts of things can happen. And the last thing I want is to create a potential safety hazard when I have a pistol locked and loaded and ready to go flying out of my holster. That is at best a match DQ and at worst something unsafe could really happen. So what's the answer? Some guys like to use hoods over their pistol keeps the gun from going flying out. And with enough training, you can get that hood out of the way, get the gun drawn and on target in under a second, just like with a passive tension holster. However, my friends at Safari Land have a much better system that's been on the market for years. They call it their automatic locking system. What it does is it has an active, not passive, retention system that locks the gun in place where I am not going to have this gun fly out of my holster no matter what I do until I deactivate the locking system with my thumb. This locking system is deactivated in the perfect position that matches my natural grip. So when my gun is locked and loaded and I'm ready to use it, I simply deactivate it by hitting the little ALS switch and my thumb is already on top of the safety ready to disengage that when it's time to execute my first shot. Now this particular holster that I use with my Atlas Hyperion is the 7378-53 holster. It's their new 7TS line. And this particular model, the 7378-53, is designed to fit Colt government length 1911s. The cool part is, is it also works with wide format double stack 1911 pistols, such as my pistol. This holster can adjust to fit all of them. All I have to do is adjust this tiny little screw right here and it makes the holster fit my gun perfectly snug. Not too tight, not too loose. In fact, when I finally do draw the gun, since there's no passive tension on it, I have a completely frictionless draw. Not only that, but the holster is made from the proprietary injection molded nylon blend called Safari 7. It eliminates all holster wear on any of your pistols. Now, I have received some comments on other Safari Land holster videos I've done in the past talking about how, I don't know what you're talking about, I got a holster wear on my gun and I have one of those holsters too. My only question for you is, how clean is your holster? Because if there's dirt inside that holster, that will rub up against your gun and create holster wear. 
Now, out of the box, these seven TS holsters come with a paddle setup, and then they also come with an alternative option to be able to thread your belt through it, just switch out what's mounted to the holster. Neither of those systems work well for me in the Sporta 3 gun. So what I've done is I've mounted a QLS clip to the back of it. It's a Safariland product, works with all Safariland holsters. And then I've had the female end of the QLS clip added to the Safariland universal belt loop. So I've just thread my competition belt through the universal belt loop and it gives just the perfect drop to where my holster's position on my body that matches my long arms. And so I can get a really good grip and a great presentation on each of my draws. The other nice thing about the QLS system is not every course of fire on every three gun stage requires a pistol. So when I don't need to use my pistol, I keep it holstered and just remove it from the QLS system. Then on the next course of fire, when I do need to use my pistol, take my holstered gun out of my bag, put it right on my belt and I'm ready to go. So for those of you still wondering if you should explore the active locking system for your three gun setup, consider this, especially if you're going to a major match or even the expense and time it takes just to go to a local match on a Saturday morning. Is it worth risking a DQ? Is it worth the safety risk? For me, the answer is no. It's happened to me in practice. I've seen it happen to friends at national matches, local matches. It's worth doing a little bit of shopping and a little bit of training to have a foolproof system that's going to allow you to perform at your highest level of confidence, run as hard and as fast as you can with your locked and loaded pistol on your hip, ready to go when you're ready to use it. So this is the holster I'm using. If you have questions about the rest of my belt setup, please go and check out my entire ELS belt system video. It's linked in the description below, and I will be posting a link to it at the end of this video. So go and check that out. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Again, I'm Sean Burrows, and I will see you next time. Oh, I haven't forgotten about you. If you wanna know more about the three gun belt setup that I have, go to the video that I'm linking on the screen right now. And for those of you that like these kind of videos, please let me know what your requests are, comments, questions in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.